Hello, Dr. James Bogash, expert in health and longevity. And today we're gonna to talk about walking. And I have this difficult conversation for me to have with patients, but I would have to say the vast majority of patients I have in my office, regardless of age, walking is their primary source of activity. I'm not a big fan. Uh, however, it's hard for me to you know, I, I still rather have them moving than not moving, but the reality is walking just is not enough. Walking as a beneficial aspect came from looking at like Peru, where they walk 10 to 12 miles a day to get to the market and back. But here in the United States, we're like, hey, how little can we do for how short of distance and duration and how few times per week and still have a modicum of benefit? that's the United States rather than looking at the other end of the spectrum is what's optimal uh, when I say walk so if you're walking like walking walking like Disneyland you're putting in 10 to 12 miles a day like that's a different story but walking three minutes three times a week leisurely around the block it's not enough and mainly from a cardiovascular and a diabetes standpoint it's a hard thing to say, but as a society, we are not doing enough. Otherwise, cardiovascular disease would not still be the number one killer because a lot of people walk, but it's not protecting them. And we see that in this particular study. They looked at, now granted, this was a population with chronic heart failure, um, a little over 200 people, mainly men out of the Czech Republic. And they had chronic heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, about 40%, I believe was the cutoff. And they looked at what uh, the six minute walking test. So how far can you walk in six minutes? For starters, those who could do more than a quarter mile were excluded. So you've got some of the healthier people that might not have been excluded included in the study. But when they started, they were at about a little over 5,000 steps per day or about 10.8 minutes, maybe 11 minutes of moderate to vigorous exercise per day. At the end, they added 1,420 steps on average, about another eight minutes per day. And there were some markers like, so their walking distance increased some aspects of quality of life increase, but their cardiac markers, things like BNP, um, bring your derived naturopathic fact, or uh, BDNP, whatever the acronyms are, and, um, and, uh, and outcomes didn't change in six months. So in other words, like some other things good, they were more mobile, they were more functional, which is great, but their cardiovascular risk largely didn't change in six months with walking only. This is one of the reasons why I remain a very strong supporter of short burst aerobic activity. We need to challenge our heart, we need to force it to make new collaterals, and um, in strength training, of course, our, our office has recently introduced whole body EMS, and this is a population where this would do really well in. And sure enough, I, I initially came across whole body EMS in cardiology literature, finding that it did increase these markers of things we wanted to protect because it's more work, it's guided work on the patients, um, especially if they have pre-existing cardiovascular disease. As always, I'll post a link to this particular study in the description. Make sure you like this video, share it with somebody who you think needs the information, and subscribe to the channel.